Hello everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Sugden 5! In the last episode, we started exploring the shit out of this place. This place is called Stormfist. This is where the game shall be held, and where the, uh, the person who shall F my sister shall be decided. And the rest will die. Also, the one who wins will die also, because I said so. Anyways, we still got a little bit more town to look around at before I head back to the inn, because we need to talk to... This guy who joined our party, his name is Shun. He f was sneaking around. He turns out he's one of the gladiators. We're going to learn about him in a minute. Anyway. Ah, hello there, your highness. I heard you have come to look around. Did you know that this used to be the capital of Felina? And even though the capital has been moved now, the efforts of the Godwin family have kept this place thriving. Anyway, please take your time and look around as much as you wish. Something tells me it's not thriving that hard. Only the noble people are. It's always that much tougher to keep the peace when we've got this sort of crowd on our hands. Still, it's our job. It's a living. Shrug, shrug, wink, wink. I'd do anything for Jizzle. I'd lay down my life if it came to that. Oh, yeah? What would you do for some Jizz and not Jizzle, huh? 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 Those arms barbarians killed my son in the war eight years ago. Your Highness, please tell me why won't the Queen just smite them down? It's what they deserve. Because they're human fucking beings. We don't just kill people. Just to kill people. And for all we know, the new arms thing is all bullshit. I don't know. I only know it because I learned it in history class when I was a child. That doesn't make it true. It just makes it some words that somebody told me from a book. Somebody wrote down. Who knows if that shit's true? Man, I just fucking broke your entire history lesson, didn't I, guys? Don't fucking... Don't blame me that you don't... Uh. Anyway, people always get a bit crazy at these big events. But these are the sacred games, the holy right. This is no time for those common folks these making trouble. These fools, that's what she said. Also, I, I, I didn't realize she was talking to somebody. Won't it be wonderful if Jizzle wins, your highness? He's such an incredible man. No, he's not. And he's not going to do anything. He's just going to watch somebody win for him. That's not winning. Watching somebody win for you is not winning. Combat hall, huh? I don't think I have enough SP to really do anything super useful quite yet, so we'll just get the fuck out of here. And I guess we're gonna go back to the inn. The inn is the place that we went with the lady who was like, hey! What was she called? Inn lady? I think she was called Inn lady. Hey, Inn lady, I need a place to private to talk. Dude, uh, do you know a place? Where was the inn at? This one, this one, this one. Gotta love that all the icons are the same in the game from all the Sukaden games, so you know where exactly you are if you've played any of the other ones. Anyway, welcome back to the inn, guys. How can I help you? Oh, Prince. Um, welcome, welcome. Okay. We'd like a room. Do you have anything available? Y yes, of course. Th this way, please. Okay. You're, uh, mm, not gonna question the fact that we're a prince staying in an inn? I guess not. Don't think we'll pay extra just because we're princely. You get still paid the fucking regular prices. Anyway. Is that really true? Yes. You saw where they keep us, right? Prince? That dungeon? Since a couple days ago, we've been hearing these voices in the middle of the night. None of us know what they're saying, or where they're coming from. And the voices have an arms accent, eh? That's right. Hmm. Prince, what should we do? something we should check it out i guess we should check it out what what's with the voices R right her majesty and the princess will be coming soon what if it's armed spies or assassins or something but here's the question why come to the prince huh well i assume you have a master and rather than just report the voices to him you took the huge risk of coming all the way out here well uh that's uh mm, look you know how they ban cruelty to gladiators right Thanks for that, by the way. But the nobles aren't happy about it. My master sure isn't. If something happened now with the gladiators, I'm sure they'd use it as an excuse to abuse us again. So you'd rather the nobles didn't find out? Exactly. Because they'll think we're just hearing voices and then they'll just beat us to death. Anyway, before they changed things, the gladiator younger than me had hit, had his eyes put out just for being too strong. Aw, oh, damn. And even after that, he was still pretty good in the ring, so they sold him off to some foreign country. Wait, so they stabbed his eyes out, and he's still really good? Wait a second. Do we know a blind guy who's really good at fighting from another Sukaden game? 
I think we do, but we won't talk about him right now. They packed him on a ship in a box like livestock. None of us know where he is now, if he's even alive. That's never going to happen to my friends again. Shun. Uh, he'll, he'll um, <laughs> we'll look into it quietly. Thank you very much. I, I knew you would say that, Prince. When you came down and saw us, you got so upset about our condition. That's when I knew you'd help us. Hey, we're just lucky you let us know. Thanks. Now, how exactly do we go about looking into this? Without getting Lord Godwin's attention, mind you. Oh, I know. We can just go back along the passage I used to sneak out. It goes straight back into the arena. Problem solved. All right, kid. Don't let anyone see you. Lay low. We'll come back and get you when you're ready. Yes, sir. George, what do you mean when we're ready? We're missing someone, and if we leave her out of this, she'll get pretty cranky. Oh, right. Yeah, can't leave, can't leave uh, Queen Sister Silees out, man. Gotta have our, gotta have our booty. Gotta have our magical booty. Anyway. Oh, Prince, are you all ready now? Nope. Wow, we could go now if we wanted. No, no, no. We need to go get Silees. All right, we should go before it gets dark. Yeah, we will. Don't worry. We'll be back in a moment. Let me go get my girl right quick. We'll be back. We'll be back. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Oh, Miss Silees, where art thou? I need thee for the rest of this quest, B. She's probably just back in the area where we're going to have our rooms. I don't know. Let's just go back that direction and see what happens. Last time we saw her, we had a cutscene with her where she was talking to Jizzle. That was an interesting one. Freaking Jizzle, man. Freaking Jizzle. I kind of can't wait for this tournament because I'm thinking the tournament is when all the things are going to go down. Whatever the things might be. Anyway. Good timing, guys. We didn't talk long. So now what do we want to do? Well, uh... Is something wrong? Mm, should we talk about this here? Should we... Yeah, I guess we're going to talk about it here. Okay. Ah, that's a problem, then. All right, I'll go with you. Oh, but Lord Godwin is throwing us a banquet tonight, isn't he? Relax, I already let him know we all declined. Oh, damn. You what? Well, it's been a long trip. We're all tired. None of us have much of an appetite. Plus, we have this shit to do. Uh, what did you do that for? That suits us perfectly. I don't want to eat with those guys anyways. Of course, not that I knew this would happen or anything. Now, where's our little gladiator? Uh, don't you worry about that. I'll lead the way. Old part of town. All right. Let's head back over to that inn. Tell Shun we're ready to do the thing. And thank you, Lord Jizzle. So I'm thinking the voices... It's either going to be... A bunch of the arms guys, and it really is going to be like an arms invasion. Or it's going to be like the arms guys colluding with the Godwins. Which I could totally see that. That could happen. The fact that the Godwins... Uh, like really want to smite down the the arms guys makes me kind of think that it's all bullshit. I don't know. It just seems so obvious that they they know the queen won't smite them down. So let's act like we're the ones that want them smited down all the time. Anyway, let's just let's. I'm just that's just me assuming that the reverse momentum strategy where those who are complaining are the ones that are actually the ones that are going to turn their back on you. That kind of thing. Anyway, let's see. So you're Shun, right? Yes, ma'am. Hello, lady. Nice to meet you. I'm Silence. Yes, I know. You're the prince's aunt, right? Aunt makes me sound old. Silence is fine. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... I mean, you're hot. <laughs> you know, you are an aunt, Silence. Your sister has kids. That's how it works. Oh, quit reminding me. Uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, Man, the dialogue in this game is really well done. I'm not going to lie. <coughs> it's been very good. It gives all the characters personality. It's very, very well done. And they're, and you get to see their relationships between each other as well through the way they talk to each other. Anyway, we can get to the arena basement through here. All right. Well, what do you know? Looks like fun. I love Bottom of Wells. This isn't a picnic. You do know it's not a picnic, right? <laughs> right, picnic, whatever. Let's go. I love picnics. Um, yeah, okay. Not a picnic, though. Just gonna reiterate one more time. Not a picnic. Just so when we get to the end of the, whatever this is, 
you don't bring it up that it should be a picnic. Anyway, let's go ahead and give it a give it a save. Give it a quick save. I assume there's gonna be battles down here. We are in a freaking sewer after all. Let's finally start saving over our first saves. I'm not gonna have a million saves. We are playing this on PS2, thus our memory is limited, and thus I cannot have a million saves like I would if I was playing on PS3 or <laughs> PS4 or something. Alright, what's going on down here? A whole lot of something. This is amazing! Right under the town? Did Lord Godwin have this built? Probably not. It looks a lot older than that. Huh. Maybe back when it was the capital this was something important? I heard rumors about how there were this, these secret passages under the ground. Okay. Good for you. I didn't think any of them still existed, though. I don't think the people of this town know about this place, either. I came across it by accident. Nobody goes down the well? What were you trying to say? Shun, why didn't you just run away? Huh? If you had an escape route like this, you could have quit being a gladiator and just run away. If I had done something like that, there's no telling what they would have done to my family. Oh, your family? I became a gladiator because I wanted to help them. We're really, really poor. If I ran away, my master would probably do something really horrible to my family. Even with an escape route, I can't escape. And it's not just me. All the other gladiators, gladiators are more or less in the same situation as me. I I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay. You didn't know. Anyway, let's just dot 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 him and move on. S sorry, I, I didn't mean to complain. Shun. Come on, let's hurry up and take care of this before they find out Shun's missing. There's no sign that they found out yet, but we don't have much time. Thanks again, everybody. Okay, let's go. Let's go. All right, what's ooh, what? Huh? Okay. Apparently, there's some some kind of creatures. Oh, that's a button. Oh, that's a button. Interesting. Hey, I don't want to talk to you. Let's hurry, Prince. Oh, look, the camera does change angles when you need it to. Halt! What? Someone's there. What? I wanted to go. Oh man, I didn't realize. My bad. How indubitably rare to run into visitors here beneath the earth. Wait, what? Who's that? I don't know. I just... Huh? Who's this guy? What the fuck? I would love to extend to you the warmest of hospitality, but I'm afraid our guest facilities here are lacking. Who are you, twirly mustache guy? Oh my! These noble folk in front of me are none other than members of the Fellini royal family and the Queen's Knights. I never dreamed I would meet you in such an unfortunate place as this. I am truly honored. Just how do you know us? Who are you? Ah, please forgive my lack of manners. My name is Egbert Arthurbald, head of the House of Arthurbald. Our family used to be Lords of Stormfist. Wait, what used to be? Lords? What the fuck? That is precisely correct. Stormfist was given to us by Her Majesty the Queen when the country's capital was moved to Sofalina. However... That filthy devil Godwin! One cowardly fiendish deed after another! He played our house of Arthabon for fools! Look at that fucking picture. He pilfered everything we had! Okay, dude, calm down, Egbert. His name is Egbert. That's awesome. Sounds familiar. <sighs> it's true, the house of Godwin stole almost everything the house of Aethabald had a hundred years ago. That's a long time to hold a grudge. Maybe he hasn't had much else to do. <laughs> no shit. Godwin is a mere insect, a hairball! A zombie snail! The sun's justice shall be brought down upon the filthy devil! Uh, I, um... Hey, is this guy starting to scare anyone else? <laughs> Terribly sorry. Mm, seems I let myself get a tad agitated. Mm. Incidentally, what is that that brings your noble personages to a place such as this? Uh... Um, actually, we're in a hurry, peace! No, actually, uh, you know, why don't let them know? I must apologize, of course. You're in a hurry to get on with your journey. I wish you fine fortune in your travels. However, if anything untoward does happen to you, I tell you the House of God will be somewhere behind it! Okay, thanks, Egbert. Every disaster that occurs in this world can be traced back to those filthy Godwin devils! Mwah! The recent increase in rats, periodic flooding, unreasonably invasive plant growths, all Godwin plots! Okay, that's it. It's definitely time to go. 
definitely. Jesus, Eggbird is nuts over here. I'm not, um, can I go back? I want to go get that item that was over there. Freaking Eggbird, man. He's crazy. He's crazy. I don't know what to do about him. He's crazy. Anyway, I just wanted to go over here and grab this treasure. But now, I get to fight a random battle. So that's fun. Actually, it is pretty fun. Because we haven't had a whole lot of opportunity to fight a lot of battles. Hey, I know these guys. Hey, snails. How's it going? Been a while. Haven't seen you. How's it go? Uh, how's it going? Time to get owned it. Whoop that ass. Damn, even George has a counterattack. Also, I just realized that Shun's in the party also, which we already knew, but I completely forgot it. I didn't even see him in the party. I wasn't even looking, I guess. Anyway, what's up with these rats, man? They just scurry away. I guess that's what rats do. They just scurry away. They scurry away, as rats will do. Fighting a battle. What are we going to fight? Ooh, birds or bats. What are these? Bats or birds? Arrow bats. They're definitely bats. Get them. Get them, team. Go, team, go. There you go. Nice, nice, nice. Why is my main character like the slowest guy? It's weird that he attacks last every time. You'd think he'd be the fastest. Maybe he's being held back by his slow-ass outfit. His outfit makes me feel slow. I feel like it'd be super wind resistant. I mean, that's not what you want in, you know, a speed in a speed game. That's not what you want. Anyway, what do you? D Best of caution, everyone, and beware of all the filthy Godwin Devil plots. All right, all right, all right. I'm not gonna talk to you anymore. You're just nuts, man. You just crazy. You're crazy. I like you, but you're crazy. All right. Anywhere else to go? Kind of wish we had a map, though. It's all right. Just be systematic in your exploration of a dungeon and there you will never miss anything good. Alright. Attack. Attack, you fool. Snail's getting wrecked. Oh, yeah. I think I was wise to level up my weapons like I did. I think that's helping a lot, even though we haven't fought a lot of battles yet. The amount of damage we're doing to these snails is pretty good. Gotta say. Pretty good. Alright, so that opened the door over there. Good to know. What's going on up here? Another treasure. Leather armor. Ooh, let's see who can wear that. I'm going with me. Leather armor. Oh, not good enough. It's good enough for Shun, though. Why not? What else are we going to do with it? Slave garb. Anything else good? Bandages. Physical defense. Consider it done. Have a bandage. Breath of ice. I haven't even looked at my items like at all. Got this scarf. Scarf on the G. Okay, have a scarf. Dress. Nobody likes the dress or the clothes. Wait, these are better than the freaking. Wow. Refined clothes are better than leather armor. That's actually kind of sad. <laughs> kind of sad. Alright then. Hey, look, more random battle. Woohoo! Who wants some? More of these arrow bats? Consider them goodbye. Damn, dude, George is too good. He's too good. Too good. All right. Who else wants some? Let's see what's going on over here before we go back. Can we open this door? What's over here? We got the save point. We got another random battle. I don't know, the fact that there's a safe one over here kind of makes me think we should go back and see what is behind the door that we opened up a minute ago. I think I'm going to do that first. Go team! Go team, awesome! It looks like we're pretty much as maxed out on level as high as we're going to go in this area, at least without fighting a bunch. We're at level 11, and I think the leveling in this game seems pretty much similar to the rest, where you'll, you'll go up levels quickly, and once you kind of cap out in the area you're in, it'll just, you'll kind of just be that level for a while unless you fight a lot, a lot of battles to level up again. I just really like how fast-paced the battles are. The only thing that's killing it for me, not killing it, but slow, is the thing that is there's the loading screens when you're leaving a battle, which makes things a little bit slower. But the fighting itself is really fast, so that's nice. It's just the loading screen when you're done with the battle. It's a little off-putting. But it's fine. Whatevs. 
It goes fast enough. We've seen slower. I've seen slower. Alright, well, I guess we could save it again. There's no reason not to, I guess. You never know what you might run into, and if I do happen to die, I won't have to do any of the walking back and forth anymore. But the fact that there's another safe one here usually bodes ill will for another fight. A boss fight. Or, you know, the near end. Ooh, that was required to move forward. Glad we went this way. Stop talking to her. Don't talk to her. She doesn't need to be talked to. She can handle herself. It's over here. Dead end. Alright, well then, going this way. Wait, more rats are scurrying for some reason. Not sure what the scurrying rats are all about, except for the fact that maybe, maybe, just maybe, we're going to fight a giant rat. I'd be okay with that. Will it be the same giant rat we had to fight in the underground sewers of Tinto, not Tinto, Two River City, sorry, in Sukuyin 2? That'd be a nice little throwback. I mean, these enemies are a throwback to old Sukuyin, these fucking snails. I don't remember seeing them in Sukuyin 3 and 4. Yeah, they might have been in three, I just forgot. Also, we did go up a level there. We fought enough battles to go up one, so I'm good with level 12. Hell yeah. More rats scurrying along. Hey, look, we're already at the arena, though. Maybe we're not going to fight a boss fight. I don't know. Huh? A dead end? Hold on a second. Let me work my magical eagle powers. I'll show you how to open the dough to get in the arena, ho. All right, you did it. Woot. Oh! This way. All right. We're in there. We're in there. All right. This place is... Looks like it's the arena basement. Indeed. Who's there? Who's there? Oh, just a bunch of gladiators. Oh, don't worry. Those are my friends. They're gladiators. Hey guys, the prince and his friends are here. Oh. <laughs> oh. I knew it. I just knew the son of his majesty Farad would hear us out. I knew it. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. All right, all right. So we didn't come down here for some... Oh, so didn't we come down here for something? Oh, that's right. The voices. Yes, we heard them again. Just a little while ago, we did. They're coming from over that way. Okay. Let's check it out. Thank you! Alright, stop yawning, man. Hmm, I could have sworn there were more of us down here. Is someone out doing some late night training for the games? I don't know. Your Highness, thanks for coming by to help us out. <laughs> You're welcome. We've been trying to figure out what's up with these voices for a while now, but we can't make heads or tails of it. Sorry we dragged you into this, Your Highness. Maybe they're speaking in another language that you don't understand. Ugh, what a mess! Wait, is there another one here? There is. Please, Your Highness. Please. We don't really like the upper crust, but we respect the Queen and Lord Farid. Everything we've done's been for them. Oh, yeah? You don't say. Apparently he does say. Can't complain about what he do say. All right, where are these voices coming from? Your Highness, can you tell Queen Arstat and Lord Farid that we said thank you? What, for the beatings thing? Well, here we go. Indistinct voices. Here we go. Who do we hear? Who we listen to? Who, who do we hear? Who's talking? Did you hear that? Shh. Over here. Be very, very quiet. I'm hearing voices. Our fellow countrymen. What? Sounds like it's coming from the other side. Oh, yeah? Do you really think get away with? That's definitely an arms accent. Uh, okay. Here. Looks like there's a hidden door here, just like the other one. You're the only... Count on... How many are there? Two... No, three, I think. Kill... Queen. What? What did they say? Who's there? Damn. Uh-oh. 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 Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Guy? Hey, with, with 
withdraw! Right? Prince. Let's go after the two that ran. Get Zagai. He's the only one that matters. Get him. Capture that bitch. Shouldn't you go after those two? I won't run or hide. It's a guy. Okay. You can leave the guy to us. Please go after the others, Prince. Okay. Let's go. Alright, fine. Let's go then. The hell? The guy. He's the dude he's uh he's the Godwin champion, correct? I believe that is correct. Anyway, we need to catch those other two fuckers. Huh. Interesting. So there's a plot to kill my kill my mom. Big fucking surprise there. But who's actually behind it? Is it the arms guys or is it the Godwin guys? That's the real question. Just because you have an arms accent doesn't necessarily mean you're fighting for arms. That just means that's where you're from. Who do you serve is the real question. That's the trill question of the album. Who you serving and why? And do I have to smite you down so you may not smite me down first? Because that would be unfortunate. All right. Where them two bitches go? I'm going to catch your ass. I'm going to catch it. Man. So many random battles. Ah, fighting them slugs and bats and shit. Ah. Get some arrow bats. Damn. Double crit hit? Didn't even know that was a thing. Double crit hit. That's crazy. That's that damage right there with that double crit hit, yo. I like it. Alright. This just seems to be a follow me path. There's no side stuff to see. Just follow it quickly to catch those two BZs. But first you must fight all the battles on the way. And we have more slugs. Ooh, with a bat thrown in. That's new. Kill them all. Get them. Get them. Trying to think like whose attack does Silene's little <laughs> attack like remind me of? It reminds me of somebody from Sukuden 2. I guess like Millie, the girl you get near the beginning that has the little dog bone apart. Western Woods? Huh. Okay. We're about to come out in the woods, yo. Oh shit, it's a whole fucking crew of soldiers. Uh oh. Hey! Damn you guys, get off our backs! That's it, you asked for it, you lousy runts! No, you asked for it by saying the words, Kill Queen! You're done! When George hears that, you're fucked. You're real fucked. George will have your head for all of it. It's kind of his job. Same goes for Leon. I mean, that is her job as well. Can we hit all? This one hits all, right? Yeah, hit all. There we go. Now, fuck em up! Wait, you have a rune? Fierce Tiger rune. Consider yourself fucked. Damn it. Can't even kill them with one George hit. Huh? That's unexpected. Oh, he got dizzy fine. Also, damn. Counterattack to death much? Wow. Our attack all is last, of course. Lady Psy leads. Uh, you gonna join? Oh, there you go. Nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. Auto attack the rest. For a win. For a win. The win. Nice, nice, one left. Fuck him up. Good shit, George. Good shit. Nice work. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Victory. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh. Are these guys really from arms? We'll have to check, but probably. Uh, how do you know? Just because they're dressed that way and they talk that way. You gotta figure out who their allegiance to, man. Uh oh, it's Jizzle. There's no doubt about it now. They had daggers with them that were carved with the seal of the Arms Southern Mountain Corps. Uh oh, uh oh, uh. Oh shit, it's Urim. I didn't even realize that was him. Ah, uh, how could this have happen be happening? <clears throat> the guy, why, why, why were you with the Arms Spies? Oh, oh, right, 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 right. You're okay. Sorry. He was, he was Urim's champion. The Godwin champion is the, the fucking drunken boxing guy. Anyway, Zagai, why, why, why? Are you mocking me? Answer me! 
Yes, he's mocking you. Ah! <laughs> Sir Guy may only be a representative, but if he had won the game, Sir Majesty would have treated him in person. They were probably making plans to assassinate the Queen and the Princess then. Why? Didn't I tell you that if you won the tournament, I'd give you luxury for the rest of your life? What more did you want? How could you even think about hurting the queen and the sweet little princess? Urim, this has nothing to do with the living of a life of luxury. One of the others has just confessed. Zagai here is... From arms. Dun dun dun! Oh? What did you say? Zagai, is that really true? I don't believe it! The guy, I don't think I trusted you! Now you'll have to just find the games by yourself. But Prince, I, I didn't know! Neither Dad nor I do anything about it, I swear! You got to believe me! Yeah, I'll think about it. The fact that you're so pathetic, it's pretty believable, I'm not gonna lie. Huh? I agree with the Prince. Right. If Lord Barrows was the one behind all of this, there'd be no reason for him to contact armed spies here of all places. They could have easily made plans somewhere else, and then Urim could have simply just given the orders to Zagai. That's right. The Barrows family would not go to such lengths, now would they? Um, uh, mm, uh, of course not. We would never ever do anything like that. Mm, well, I knew you all would understand. Sure you did. Right, then. Since I obviously had nothing to do with this outrageousness, I should very well be on my way. Chip, chip. Here we go. Oh, and this lunk. Hmm. You can pluck his eyeballs out or behead him, for all I care. Alright. Thanks, Urim, for the fucking... Behead? It's a guy. If he was plotting the assassination of the Queen, there'd be no question he'd get capital punishment. But we couldn't sully the holy sacred games with the blood of a criminal, so execution would take place afterward. Until then, we'll confine him to this room. It's late now. Everyone should go back to the rooms and get some rest. Okay, so Shun is gone. Huh. Okay. Okay. You played a large part in preventing Arm's plot, but so too did Shun. I think it best we overlooked the little matter of his escape. So, okay. Anyway. I always looked up to Zagai. I respected him. He was strong. And it seemed like the only thing he ever wanted was an honest fight. How how could this happen? I don't know. He's not saying a word about anything, so I have no idea. Doesn't help me none, I tell you what. Anyway. The guy. The guy. I thought you were the guy. All right. Well. Okay then. Who corrupted him? Who decided to get him to do the thing? Anyway, somehow, it, it just doesn't feel right. Do you really think we did the right thing? No idea. I am not sure. We couldn't just stand there and do nothing. Well... It'll be impossible for Yurim to find a representative as good as the guy. At this point, he'll probably have to withdraw. And if he does, the one with the best chance of winning the tournament is... Giselle. Da -da -da -da. Which sounds even more like Godwin, who's our plotting the whole thing, does it not? Son of a bitch, Giselle. Son of a bitch. Oh, you're here, Father. What a rare treat. I wanted to hear your thoughts. My thoughts, you say? About what? That's right. Are you happy with all of this? I'm fairly satisfied. I suppose. Mm. I do think you're scheming a little too much. All I did, Father, was simply to float a little information about Stormfist's underground passage and Zagai. I can't help it if Armus took the bait, or if they got Borrows mixed up in it and brought destruction upon themselves. And I can't help it if the Prince got himself involved and turned it into a delightful show. Yeah, see, Jizzle was behind all this That's shit. Exactly I knew it. That's what I mean about scheming too much. <laughs> when you get involved in intrigue, do it decisively. But I'm warning you, it's 
best to not get too involved. Yes, I know. All you have to do is wait, Father. Indeed, I'll be ready to reveal our grand cause at the Sacred Games. Huh. Seems more like Jizzle's behind some crazy shit and Dad is not, not exactly behind him 100%. Anyway, back to these guys, the Dragon Horse Riders, or whatever they were called. Nice. Fancy ass dragon rider. Is it time for the fucking games right now? Is that why we're seeing this? Seems like it. The crowd is there. Oh yeah, everybody's here. Which means it's time for the games. Let the games begin. Wow. I didn't expect her to be looking so excited about the whole thing. This is not gonna end well. Is that is that too obvious to say? I mean we already know Jizzle's behind some bullshit. Dragon Horse Riders, yay! And there's Farid. Let our mercy as deep as the fatus and our authority as powerful as the sun be revealed to the entire world. To choose one worthy of becoming Princess Limsley as husband, I hereby proclaim the start of the sacred game. So let it begin. To the death. Okay. Our prince will now participate in the ceremonial match. Who? What? Uh, he? Uh, mm, I'm in a ceremonial match. What? How did that happen? I mean, that's cool, but really? Who are we fighting? It's almost time, Prince. Just relax and take it easy. It's not a real match; just a part of the ceremony. Don't overdo it, okay? Okay. It's still a fight. I want to win. <laughs> I don't lose, bitch. I always win. Prince, I admire your enthusiasm, but please try to be careful. If you get seriously injured, it'll put an end to the Sacred Games. Oh, and Prince, you do know how to compete in the Sacred Games in a, in a Sacred Games duel, right? Nope. But if it's like anything like rock, paper, scissors, I'm just going to say I don't have a clue. Prince, in one-on-one -on -one duels, it's very important to anticipate your opponent's moves. First, listen carefully to what they say, then try to predict what they're going to do from their attitude. If your opponent sounds cautious, you should take the chance to attack. When you think they're about to go on the offensive, counter with your special move. If they seem to be gathering their strength, it's probably best to guard until you see an opening. Don't hesitate too long, though, or they might land a free hit on you. You'll need to be swift, calm, and decisive. Knowing you, Prince, I'm sure you'll be just fine. And that's about it. Have you got it now? Indeed I do. Got it. Okay, be careful then, and good luck. Alright, so it's time to do 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 duel. But what if I'm not ready for the duel? <sighs> I wish there was a place to just go save it. During the games, even you, your highness? Uh, it's to ensure that there's no foul play, you see. And I hope you understand. Uh, how do I get out of here then? Do I just say, are you ready? Yes, prince? Never mind. Okay. I'm assuming I have to just get out there somehow. Your Highness, I wish you successful match. Thank you. Who am I dueling, by the way? I'm here in case of any participants get seriously injured. If you get injured, Your Highness, just come see me and I'll patch you right up. Thanks, Doctor. Doctore. Alright. But Prince, where are you going? The ceremonial match is about to start. Okay, so we can't even go if we wanted to. Well, then I guess we're just going to keep going. Downstairs with us? Wait. Prince, where are you going? Oh, wait. Oh. Wait, is there um, is there a door right here? Oh, there's a door behind this guy. Well, that's deceiving. All right, time to duel, guys. It's time to duel Yugi. Oh. Oh, we're just going to duel him. Okay. We can do that. Shun about to get owned. Sorry, Shun. About to smack you around Prince, a little bit. I never thought I'd be the one chosen to fight you in the ceremonial match. I'm looking forward to this. Don't hold back, you hear, you bitch. You got it. I wasn't planning to anyway. Good. Let's smack your ass down. 
All right, here we go, baby. Time to duel. All right, let's see how we do this. Just like rock, paper, scissors, man. Just like rock, paper, scissors. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Good luck, Prince. Good luck, Prince, he says. Is that your first line? Yeah, I know you said good luck. All right. Go ahead and come at me. Come at me, bruh. Uh, attack, attack. Square. Oh, shit, you gotta be quick. I'm going to give it all I got. Make sure you're ready for me. I'm gonna give it all I got. So, guard. Yep. So, you have a time limit now. This is different. Holy shit, that was awesome. Here comes another one. And this time I'll do it right. Nope, you're gonna get guarded, bitch. Shook him. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> That's a hilarious move. I can't believe you turned my best move back on me. What if I just hit him with a regular attack now? Yep. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. I guess I'll have to be more careful. Um, attack again. Yep. Bam, bitch. Very nice. I guess I'll have to be more careful. If you're gonna keep saying the same thing, you're gonna be fucked. <laughs> Just keep bitch, bitch slapping you with my sticks. Very nice. Wow. I guess I'll have to be more careful. You're boring. I guess they just don't want you to lose this first fight. I'm going to give it all I got. Oh no. Sure you're ready well, for me. time for the victory shot. Here it comes. Huh? Nice. Just the one whoosh, down you go. All right, well, that was easy enough. Color me victorious. Eat that shoon. You thought your fucking roundhouse kick to the dome was going to work? Pusha. And the winner is His Royal Highness Prince Funky G. Damn right it is. I'm the fucking campion, bitch. Prince, that was great. Bitch didn't even hit me. Funky G, who said that? Oh. Oh, it's my, my sister. Hey, girl, how you doing? Monkey G! Princess? What in the world were you thinking winning the match? What do you mean, what? If you keep winning, I'll have to marry... Uh... uh no way! It's just not right, Funky G! Brothers and sisters can't get married. Didn't you? Don't you know that? Wait, what? Um... Hello? The princess match was really just a formality. Ritual to start off the sacred games. Regular matches haven't even started yet. The prince isn't going to participate anymore. What? What? Princess, where are you? Oh yeah, that's her. That's where I thought so. Ah, princess, I found you. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Ah, there's a little pugnose tomboy. Oh, there's the little. Ah, shut up. You you tricked me again. Oh, my, my. Prince, did you tell her the truth? Why'd you have to spoil all the fun? <laughs> fun, huh? So you get a kick out of lying to me, huh? <laughs> it's just that you get all cute and flustered when you're embarrassed, that's all. Flustered? Huh. Mother and father are waiting. I'm going back. Meh. Okay. Oh, Leon and Mac. Oh, they all joined. Okay, so we're going to walk back on our own time. All right. That sounds good. Let's go. Let's go. Back to the, to the, to the back, to the back, to the, to the back, to the back. Ah, so we've already been through here enough times to hopefully figure out how to get back to where I need to be. I mean, remember how lost I got before? Well, prepare to get double lost. Oh yeah. No, it should be over this way. Hopefully. Hopefully. Wait, what? Um, wait. Was it down here? And then this way? Man, hopefully I can remember. Yeah, this is the right way. This is correct. That is correct. All right, this is where we're staying, right? Can I go in the prince's room? Wait, is this? No, wait, no, 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 this isn't it. This isn't it. We need to go upstairs. One more area. This should be, yep, this is it, this is it. Can I go in the prince's room and call it a day? Is there a safe one in here? There is not. Wait, is there one in here? Dude, what the hell? There's no safe one here? Really? I totally thought there was going to be a safe one here. Oh, there is one. In the prince's room. The actual prince's room. The one you go in the right room. Damn it. 
All right. That's going to do it for today's episode of Sukuden 5. In the next one, I think major shit is going to go down during the games. I think that's pretty much a given. But who will really be behind everything? Is it really Jizzle, or is that too obvious? Find out next time on Let's Play Sukuden 5.